Yo, Sean, what is it? I said astigmatism in my soul. Terrace Park, man. My man John here. Check him out, y'all. Check him out. Look at Terrace Park. Park four. Park four. Let's see you, John. Check him out, y'all. He's still on the ball. Yo, John. Let me get 10 push-ups real quick. You got 10 push-ups for a nigga? Yeah. Check John out, y'all. Check him out. Check him out, y'all. Look at Terrace Park. Park 4. Getting that clean money. That money good. Hey, yo, John. Where you from, man? I'm from the Bronx. I live in Brooklyn now. How old are you? 46. 46? Okay, what nationality are you, John? Puerto Rican. Puerto Rican, in effect. Yo, John, why you work out? Why you do calisthenics, oh, man? I was working out before I came to prison. But in prison, I used to work out, but not that much. Ain't no females in prison. When you looking good, what the fuck? Who's gonna tell you you look nice? When nothing can tell you you look nice, you don't want that. So, but I've been working out before prison. And now, uh, I got into calisthenics because of boxing. I was, I was diesel. And I got my ass whooped by some little dude. The boxing match? Yeah. Hey, yeah. Hey, so you slim that shit down, huh? Yeah, because oh. that muscle is it's not going to help you in the ring. You got you to gotta be natural with your own body weight. Like you can lift 315. A dude that can't even get 135 can knock you out. In the boxing ring? Yeah, the dude I fought, he could do pull-ups, but he was really weak with the weights. He couldn't even... uh. Bench press like 135. Skinny dude. That's why I'm into cast that. Hey, 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 yo, hey, yo, John. Upstate, you was upstate, right? New York? Yeah. Sing Sing? Yeah, I was in Sing Sing. Where at? Where uh, else? Well, when I got locked up, they sent me to a uh, downstate one day, a Mara reception. I went to a Mara population. They sent me to Auburn. From Auburn. Because I got cut in Auburn. They sent me to. Uh, Somebody stabbed you? No, they cut me. What, what, on your head? Yeah, in the back of my head. Oh, that's, that's that wood right there? Yeah. That what was happened? Some... Why, why, why did he do that? Because I had cut him on Rikers Island, but he didn't cut me. He sent somebody else to cut me. Oh, you cut a nigga on Rikers Island? Yeah, he sent somebody else to cut he me. He didn't on do it? Me. No, he didn't do it. He sent somebody else to cut me. From there, I went to uh, Clinton. From Clinton, I went to Sing Sing. And then Sing Sing, I think I went to some medium. Otisville. And then a whole bunch of mediums. And actually, I started getting into fights in the meetings because it's too many niggas. You're around too many niggas. You brush your teeth next to another dude. You're sleeping next to another dude. And the max is where it was worse. I never had no problems. That was because Brackets Island. But I was, very, I was there with real dudes that would probably stab me and kill me. They were mad cool. Yeah, the max is the max is it's a lot it's more a lot, a lot lot of respect. A lot man. more respect, right? Yeah. If I change the TV, dudes will come to me and say, yo, so and so, you about to watch something. You know, if you, yeah, hell yeah, yeah, go ahead. But. And the meeting wasn't like that. It was like total, it was chaos, man. It was chaos. Thank God I learned how to box in Sing Sing before I went to the meetings because I needed that skill. Hey, yo, hey, hey, yo, John, they had weights in there? You stay? Oh, I wasn't one Mohawk. I didn't have no weights. 
because they told me I had a ride with, with police and they hit police with weights and they had no baseball because they hit police with baseball bats. So in Mohawk, there was no, uh, no weights. Dudes just did ball. Okay, okay. But all the other spots, they had weights, though. Uh, yeah, every other spot, from, yeah, they have weights, yeah. Niggas, and the niggas be going hard in there on the yeah, weights? Yeah, it was nice. The Saints had a lot of competition with the weights. There was this dude named Shorty King, he was a beast. He, he might have weighed like 145. He was, oh man, he was doing like incredible numbers. At 145 pounds? 145 pounds. He might have been like like 750 on a deadlift. Yeah, Shorty King. Yo, yo, uh, yo, yo, John, so check it out, man. Uh, you came home in 2012, you said? Yeah. Okay, why, why you didn't... Why you didn't go back to the street and go back to prison, man? It, it, I'm, it's afraid of, for you. I'm afraid of prison, man. I'm, I'm scared. I'm scared of death. There's no life, man. I ain't had the balls to kill myself, but if I did, I would have killed myself. That shit is disgusting, man. Prison is disgusting? It's disgusting, man. You ain't got no freedom. You, you, you got any white crackers tell you what to do. You know, other prisoners you get to fight with. But I was more scared of the correction officers, especially like when you go to the mountains. Sing Sing was, had blacks and uh, Puerto Rican officers, and the females was mad cool. But what about when you go into the mountains, though? Yo, I swear I'm not lying. If you ever seen the movie, The Hills Have Eyes, that's how they look. I was, I was desperate for pussy, and I wouldn't even fuck them correction officers up there. The, the, the chicks look like, they look funny, man. You know, it's like, there's no appeal. They look like The Hills Have Eyes. They look funny. Yo, them correction officers will beat your ass, won't they? They'll kill you. They told me when I went there, they said, yo, if you get into a fight, and by mistake, you hit one of the officers, stab him, hit him by mistake with your fist, you're going to kill you. And they said, when you look at our females, look, but if you turn around, we catch you, we're gonna kill you. But I didn't wanna look at their females look disgusting anyway. Oh, but John, check it out. So you changed your life around. You ain't on that prison shit no more. Nah, man, I'm scared, scared of death of prison, man. You work now? Yeah, I work for, I'm a truck driver. As soon as I go home, I got some money. They have two jobs. I pay for my CDL. All them free programs that take too long, so I pay for my CDL. I got my class B, I got a job real quick. And then I got my uh, class A. But John, why do you go back to the streets, man? The streets out there, man. They, in the rap music, they talk about how fly the streets is, man. E everybody telling. Somebody told I stabbed some dude. The dude that I stabbed, I didn't really know him. Um, he was from my block, but I didn't know him. But I knew the dudes he was around. One of the dudes looked like Fat Joe. And when I went to trial, he had a suit on. He looked real nice and all that. told on me. When I, was, uh, when I was 18, I shot somebody in school. But he ain't telling me. I had, I had a fight. I broke some dude's nose. He ain't telling me. But a dude told on me. I had a guy stabbed at me. Told on me. And his friend. And they were screaming. Throw the ratchet out the window. Throw the gun out the window. They ain't mentioned none of that in trial. You went to prison for that shit. Yeah. Hey, 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 hey John. Check it out. How many days a week you work out, man? Right now I'm working six to seven because I'm, I'm old. I'm not getting cut up like that. So I'm see, gonna see if I keep. How old are you? Forty-six. Okay. And I'm eating a lot because it's uh. Everything is closed, the boxing gym is closed, so I'm working on now seven days a week. But if I wasn't, if it was still boxing, I'd work out five days a week. Steroids, creatine, supplements, anything? Nah, I tried curatine, but um, I'm not into weightlifting no more, so I left the curatine alone. Okay, okay. Hey, 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 hey John, um, what would the 46-year-old John tell the 26-year-old John? Well, I was locked up at 26. Uh, like, I locked up when I was 21, came home when I was 37, but... Crime is, crime don't pay, man. Crime don't pay. Don't pay, John? Nah. Don't pay. Even if you got away with it, like Jay-Z or whatever, a lot of rappers got away with it, you still hurt a lot of people. You're selling that, that product. A lot of people got hurt by your product. You might have had a lady do down, you hurt his family. Even though he, he was probably caught up in illegal activity, but, you know, people just, it's like a circle, man. People just get hurt, man. People get hurt. Hey, 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 John, is your life already written by Supreme Being Higher Power and there's nothing you can do to change it? Or do you make your life what you want it to be with your choices and your decisions? I believe your life is written because I, you know, I believe in the Lord Jesus Christ. But you still got a free will and it's up to you whether to choose bad or good. It's up to us to choose bad or good? It's up to you to choose bad or good. Hey, John, man, thank you for letting me get this up. And if you do me a favor, do me a favor, man. Tell the people, say, yo, man, fuck with Sean's YouTube channel, man. He got the dopest channel on YouTube, man. Yo, subscribe to uh, Comedy Publishing, man. I like it, man. I had like, 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 real trap topics up there, man. Real shit, like, you know, you can, like, you know, talking to real dudes in the yard, man. You got some real topics, man. So, 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 John, you was already fucking with the channel before we met today, right? 
I had caught, because I'm from the Bronx. Dudes do pull up in the Bronx, but it's not like, dudes got their game up here, like, dudes is beasts of it, these animals up here, man. So, by mistake, I was like, I caught a couple of, uh, then I caught your channel, uh, Beast Mode, uh, Ball Tennis for Harm. I was like, wow, this, this thing is a movement. I didn't even know. Wingate, Team Wingate. I was like, yeah. wow. Yeah. Right. Yeah, I appreciate you, kid. All right, Peace. Man.